Hey, this is Pastor Rick. Glad you're back with me today on Sharpen. Today, we're going to talk about one big word, strife. That's right, duking it out. There is a verse I just love. It's in the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 13 through 15. I'm going to read all of it because I want you to catch the flow of what it says. It's really important. It says, you, are, you my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another another humbly in love. For, verse 14, the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour each other, watch out that you will not be destroyed by each other. You know, strife is ugly, painful, and destructive. And the statement that Paul makes when he says, if you bite and devour one another, verse 15, is really appropriate for today. Well, you might be saying, Pastor Rick, isn't it true that it's good to have a good spunky conversation? Big word, spunky. Haven't heard that in a long time, have you? Yeah, it is. It's good to have conversation. It's good to have a, a genuine conversation. But the difference is don't bite. Don't bite people and then don't devour each other. It's one thing to have a conversation, to, to come together and talk about issues. It's another thing to do with the wrong spirit. Now, let me tell you what you do this a lot in marriage, right? Or in a dating relationship or friendships. You, if you're not careful, you are you're in offices. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Employees. Uh, the way we talk about things, the way we engage each other is unfair and unwise. And it leads to just a bunch of strife. And what good is that? It doesn't help anybody. There's something about embracing the truth that the scripture says. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Here's what he said in verse 14. Love one another. He said, if you take everything the Bible says, everything, every, everything, 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 and put it all together, it's all trying to get you to a place of love and respect, concern, care. And those are big words. And they make a big difference in your life. Now, I have been, you know, at times bitten by people. <laughs> I've had fantastic lies told of me. You know, it's okay. It's all part of the job. I understand. But, you know, it doesn't help. And I've been tempted to bite. That's right. Bite back. <laughs> bite. Yes. What'd you say about me? Now, I'll tell you where you really do this. You do this in your house better than anywhere else. With your wife, your children. That's where the real fangs come out if you're not careful. You can be really nice to everybody in the street and mean at home, grumpy, hard to get along with, coming in with a bad attitude, starting the week out. Some of you, this is the first day in the week, and you're already mad. Why are you so mad? Stop being so mad. You don't, have to be, you don't have to be this angry. Every now and then you need to pause and say, you know what? I need to do better than this. This is not good. We're called to something better than this. You should be free from this, Paul says. This is not the way we live. We love one another. We don't bite each other. But that's what happens. And you end up indulging the flesh. You just want to get them. Let them know. I see people tipping all the time. Yeah, I told them. I told them. I told them. And I let them have it. <laughs> I'm always in my head saying, really? What if God let you have it when you messed up? What if God were mean to you every time you didn't, didn't, didn't dot the I and, yeah, dot the I and cross the T? Did I get that right? I mean, if you're not careful, your whole life is about getting people. And, and then there's sometimes if we're not careful, we just don't have the heart of God. We don't have that agape love, that, that love without merit. You know, love is really about being able to say, you can be dumb around me and it's okay. You can make great mistakes around me. You can say the wrong thing and you can mess up. It's okay. We'll figure it out. I love you more than I love what I think is non offensive. Say it again. Some people only love people when they're non, not offensive. But I got to love you even if you are offensive. No matter what you say, I've got to care about you and I cannot bite and devour you. So there, my time's up. I gotta go. Think about it. If you're in strife, think about what I've said and stop it today. No more of that. Let's, let's not, let's put the fangs away. Father, help us today. Leave this conversation with an open heart and open mind in Jesus' name. My name is Pastor Ricky Temple. Five minutes is up. I gotta go, people. I'll see you next time. See you next week.